Good morning, Fly Babies. It's me, Fly Lady Cat, and I'm here today to help you have peace in your home, control in your life, and really start to finally love yourself. If you're brand new, please go to this little button right down here and push my picture that I'll get you subscribed, and then there's a bell for notifications so that you can get notified every day when I put out a video. Now, I do put out a video every morning at 6 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, which tells you exactly what to do that day. But if you're brand new, you want to go to my homepage and watch the video, How to um, Do the Fly Lady System for Newbies. That'll really help you understand what I'm talking about. Okay, great. Good morning. Good morning. So at home fly babies and payroll fly babies, everyone gets up first before the family. We're doing our morning routines. We're feeling good about it. If you've been with me for a while, these are really a habit now. If you're brand new, you can do it. Just put one foot in front of the other. It's called baby steps and do your routines, but do them first, fast, make them fun and finish. Those are the four F's. I always talk about that and that's so that you can get through things without dawdling and get it done. And then you have more time for yourself. I don't want you to just do that because I'm mean. I want you to have time for yourself. So let's get through these things. They are not the focus of your life. Keeping your house clean and going through your routines is not the focus of your life. The focus of your life is your family and your, and your quiet time and your time to enjoy what we have here in life, right? Okay, so today is Monday. For Payroll Fly Babies, we're gonna to get to work early, and we're going to get there in time to get our water and our coffee and say hello to our friends, get to our desk, and set up our desk for the day. Look at our control journal, see what it is we're gonna to do today, our daily things. What things are we gonna do on Mondays? What things are we doing now that we're in September, in the, in the third week of September? What are the things that you have to do in your control journal? Continue to add to that and, and um, change that around as you need it, but eventually it'll be just right for you. And every day you'll have something to do that'll be perfect, that'll put you in a little step higher, right? I've already gotten a report from one of my fly babies that she has she's up for promotion because she's been doing this. I'm so proud of you all. I know you're really working your hardest. And you know what, even if you don't get up for promotion, you'll know in your heart that you're doing the best job and you'll really start to love your job, which is fun because that's life, right? The majority of your day is at work, okay? All right, so what are we doing today at home that you can implement at work? Well, today is, um, sorry, there's a little hair there. Sorry, it's driving me crazy. Um, so today is what? Today is Monday. And so Monday at home is our weekly home blessing hour. That's our basic weekly plan item. So that's something that you can either sprinkle throughout the week, doing one of the little five to 10 minute items each day. There are six things to do, right? So pick one and do it. And then on Saturday, you'll just have one to do or delegate two or three of the things are fairly easy to do. Um, and before you know it, your weekly home blessing will be done. That'll save you an hour on Saturday, right? Okay. What are we doing in our home for our zone? If you're on zone, if you're on the third level, you've gotten your routines down, you've got your basic weekly plan down, your third level is um, the zone. And the zone we're in today is, the, is zone four, which is the master bedroom, the master closet, and if you have one, the master bathroom. So we're going to, if it's cluttered, it's 15 minutes in that room until it's decluttered. If you decluttered it and it's recluttered, the reason is that you're not finishing your processes. If your spouse is cluttering all over the room, then inform him that this is his side of the room and he can put everything that he wants on his side of the room, please. And you keep your side nice and tidy, right? Don't touch his stuff, just ask him nicely to please put it in his side of the room. Okay, good. So you can look at your side and say, awesome, I've got, or three quarters or whatever, because you know, you have a shared space and nobody clutters shared spaces either, right? If it's cluttered on your side, you're not completing your processes, so stop. When I say do things first, fast, fun and finish, I don't mean so fast that you're throwing things everywhere. I mean that you stick to the process and finish it all the way. So fast means focused, really. I should change that to focused, but I still say fast, so it gets the idea across. All right, so take a moment to put things up. Hang your jacket up. Hang your jacket up. Put your shoes in the closet. Um, whatever it is that you, take your water bottle downstairs. Whatever it is, finish your process, all right? And that'll make it not cluttered next time. Okay, now what we're gonna do, if there's no clutter, is you're gonna clean for 
two minutes, three minutes, five minutes, at the most 15 minutes. And you're going to just pick one thing that you want to do. Think about the four things that you want to do in that room this week. If you can get them done today, all the better. Saturday, you'll save you four 15-minute increments at the most, which would be an hour at the most. Now, if you've gotten your weekly home blessing done and your zone done, that's two hours max that you're saving on Saturday. Awesome. Okay? All right, so that's it for you today. When you come home, don't forget to throw in a load of laundry, or if you set it on pre uh, on um, delayed wash and it's washed right before you come home, just throw them in the dryer. I think that's fabulous. I don't have that, but if you do, please take advantage of it. Always use the tools you have. Remember, we're not washing things on a washboard anymore. We have tools. So if your tools are more advanced, take advantage of those things. If you don't know how to do it, read your book. Go online. See what it is that you can do that makes it work for you better, right? Okay, great. And then when you come home, um, I mean, then when you're done with your laundry, go through your paper, you know, just an inch. If you've got paper clutter all over the house, just an inch takes just that long, hardly long at all, because you're not handling it. You're just sorting it into this requires action, this requires filing, this requires getting rid of, right? And so on Wednesdays when we do our planning day, that's the day you take action on those things. All right, so that's it. Um, after dinner, everyone helps clear the dishes and get the kitchen cleaned. At the end of the day, the, base, the before bed routine for your children and yourself. Don't forget to plan for tomorrow. And you know, at, at work, Fly Babies, you are awesome. You're my little payroll Fly Babies and you're doing an awesome job. I love that you think of yourself as a professional because you are. Remember, you are beautiful. Bye. Okay, at home, Fly Babies. You heard what I said, right? So it's, it's all the same for you, except you're not at work. You're at work. We know that there's a lot, that, a lot to do here as well, right? So, and it doesn't involve housekeeping. Housekeeping is just this little teeny part that I'm addressing that you're not gonna major in anymore, right? So morning routines, children's routines, laundry, paper. Um, then our basic weekly plan is our weekly home blessing hour. Let's get it done. You know, think of it in little increments. Think about, okay, we're gonna do laundry, so let's strip the bed. So you don't have to make the bed, you've stripped it. You don't have to come up with some laundry to wash, you've got it. And now we're going to um, do the three easy things, which are dust, empty the garbage cans, and wipe all the mirrors real quick. Those are like just super quick jobs. Time yourself. Put your timer on. Set for 10 minutes and see how fast you really get it done, right? Then you only have two things left to do, and that involves the floors, either vacuuming, sweeping, or dust mopping, the hard services that you live in, and then in the kitchen and the bathrooms, you're going to do a quick mop. Again, set your timer for 10 minutes. I hope that you lay everything out before you start, and then you complete your process when you're done. That's it for you today. And then the zone for the weekly home blessing hour. Now, if you're in, zone, in the third level and you've maxed, you, you've maxed out, right? You're doing everything. We're going to work in the bedroom today. So the master bedroom. So go in there, and if it's still cluttered, just like I told payroll, you're going to declutter for 15 minutes. Set your timer. When it's over, complete your process by throwing away, putting away, and giving away. Putting the giveaway in your car. In the trunk, in the back somewhere. All right? And then... Um, when you're done with that, you're done for the day. That's it. Don't reclutter. That's the key. Don't reclutter. That means complete your processes. <clears throat> okay? All right. Now we're done. There's nothing left to do unless you don't have clutter in your bedroom. And in that case, you're going to clean. Pick four things to do in there. Think of four things to do. So I'm going to say, I'm going to give you four things if you can't think of anything. Vacuum the whole floor underneath the furniture. If you can't move it, don't move it. But take the hose and go under the furniture if you can get under. Get under the bed, get the corners, right? That's one thing. That may take you 10 minutes. You're still not gonna have to worry about it because you vacuum the floor where your people walk. You're just getting the edges, right? And under things. Um, another thing, let's clean our baseboards. How long has it been? Get a microfiber cloth or a washcloth, wring it out. You don't have to have any kind of cleaner and just wipe them down. Mostly it'll be dust. Occasionally you'll have, occasionally you'll have a little scuff but mostly it's dust and we are not perfectionist cleaning. We're just cleaning and it's gonna look a whole lot better. On the third day, you're going to do, um, I'm gonna tell you to, have you thought about changing out your bedspread for, this, for the fall? Is it time? Do you have one that you change into or do you keep the same one all year? If you already have that, then how about, is it time to turn your bed or flip your mattress? Don't hurt yourself. If it's really heavy, you don't do that by yourself. You ask somebody to help you, okay? But that's the thing for the third day, something to do with the bed. 
Um, on the fourth day, let's do the master closet. Let's go in there and straighten out your shoes. Get rid of the ones that don't belong in there for the, for the winter, okay? For the fall winter. All right, that's it for today. I hope you have a fabulous day. I really, really love having you here. I'm so glad you're here. And always remember that you are beautiful. Bye-bye.